Hello and welcome to my new video. In this video, I want to answer some questions that I received about a previous video. Last year at Intersolar in Munich, I filmed something. Last year at Intersolar, together with Stefan, I introduced the Sun Booster Vertical to you. This is a bifacial, flexible photovoltaic module designed for use in, for example, garden fences or rod fences. These regular rod fences, like the ones installed almost everywhere in Germany, can really be found everywhere. And we also often see things like this in these rod fences here, I'll just say. Privacy strips inserted. You can put these privacy strips into your fences there. Their only purpose is to block the neighbor's view. They have no other significance. So it's either a large area or just wasted space. Here, with the Sun Booster Vertical, which is finally available in Germany, you can make good use of this unused space. Because here we can use these privacy strips, which by the way come in two lengths. One is two meters and the other is 2.5 meters long. With these strips, you can make good use of this space. These strips can be easily threaded into a bar mesh fence like this, and then they can generate energy for you right here. The installation is extremely simple. Just thread it in, secure it at the beginning and end, and the system is ready to use. Then connect the system to your inverter or maybe to a small power station or use the whole system as a balcony power plant. And just like that, you've put your fence to good use. The big advantage of this system, here I have a small sample. Like I said, this is just a sample. The original strips are two or 2.5 meters long. The advantage of this system is that it is installed vertically, which means it stands upright, so to speak. That's a big advantage with photovoltaic modules, especially if you're expanding your existing photovoltaic system with this, because existing photovoltaic systems have a weakness, particularly in the early morning and evening. They usually can't generate much energy at these times and you can compensate for that well with this system. The advantage of these strips, as you can already see, is that they can be used on both sides. So they're bifacial and on both sides they can deliver about the same yield. That means, for example, if you have the fence set up in a reasonably optimal situation. Uh, for example, if east were here and west were here, then that would of course be super optimal here the sun would rise in the morning, move over here, have its main position at this spot and then set over here again. So with a system like this, you would have a very high yield in the early morning because the sun shines optimally on the system here. This would also make a lot of sense, for example, in spring, autumn and winter, which are problematic times of the year anyway. Because during these periods, photovoltaic systems usually can't generate electricity optimally since the regular photovoltaic modules are usually installed on the roof at an angle of 15 to 30 degrees and are misaligned so they're not optimally oriented toward the sun and therefore can't generate electricity efficiently. If you've equipped the fence with such a system, this panel stands here. It's more optimally aligned with the sun, which stays low in the sky during winter, allowing it to shine on the fence more effectively. The advantage is that in winter we often face this problem, at least I do here. I live here in a region that still gets quite a lot of snow, which of course means that in winter my photovoltaic modules are often covered with snow. Of course that doesn't happen with the fence. Just do it like this. Leave the lower fence panel or the lower fence strip open Install this PIVA, the vertical photovoltaic module in the upper part here, and let it do its job. The advantage is that when there's snow on the ground below, the modules are clear. Even if they get blown on by snow or by some drifts, I'll just say. The snow will briefly stick here and then, of course, as soon as the sun shines on it, it will melt right away. And the system is immediately ready for use again. That's also a big advantage in winter. In winter, we have a lot of scattered light. That means, especially when there's snow on the ground or around the photovoltaic modules, the white surface of the snow reflects the sunlight excellently. Or simply just the brightness. That means even with a cloudy sky, the light can be reflected here by the snow. And when the photovoltaic module is installed vertically in the fence like this, the brightness can also shine into the module. This can also result in energy generation which of course also significantly increases your yield in winter. This is especially interesting for heat pump owners, of course. I am also in the process of installing a heat pump myself right now. 
we all know heat pumps also use a lot of energy and so of course it makes a lot of sense if we can get as much energy as possible from photovoltaic in the winter i think this system is an excellent addition to existing ones you can equip your fence areas with it accordingly and generate additional energy for the heat pump in the fall and winter which will significantly reduce your costs in winter as well significantly reduce your electricity costs accordingly if you have any questions about the system, I have only introduced them for now. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. If I find some interesting questions here, I might make another video about them. Where can you order this vertical, the Sand Booster vertical? That's very simple. The Sand Booster is available in the official Sand Booster shop. I'll show it to you here again. Here, for example, we have the shop page. Here you can also order the system as a balcony power plant. A big advantage for a balcony power plant, you know how it is. When you want to set up a balcony power plant, you usually don't know where to put the photovoltaic modules. If you already have a garden with suitable fences, you can simply buy the vertical version here. Thread it in, connect it to the inverter, then hang it somewhere on the house wall and simply plug it into the socket and you're good to go. The big advantage is that we don't have to build any substructures, we don't have to climb around on any roofs, drill through any walls or do anything like that. Installing a balcony power plant here is also very very easy with this system. And finally to anticipate further questions, what does such a fence panel actually produce? Or what can this fence panel do? Theoretically, with a 100 meter long fence like this, you can generate about 18 kilodollar of peak power, which would correspond to an annual yield of up to 22 megawatt hours. That's already quite a lot. That means if you have larger fence areas, it might make sense to cover those larger fence areas with this system and then set up a photovoltaic system accordingly. Oh yes, and lastly, there's one more thing that comes to mind that will probably also come up as a question. Namely, what about partial shading on these photovoltaic modules here? For example, these fence bars here, these round bars. And I have to tell you right away, with this system, it actually makes very little difference. I'll just show you a graphic from the manufacturer. They tested the whole thing again quickly for you. Here, the efficiency is over 82%, which means partial shading isn't really a big issue with this system. If you still want to do something about it, I can give you a few more tips. On the one hand, the system was made in such a way that these lines match most double rod mesh fences. That means you can insert the modules so that these round rods always rest on these lines or near these lines. Alternatively, you could also do the following. If you have a fence orientation that gets a lot of sun, you can install fewer rods on that side of the fence. This means you add the system to reduce the number of rods here. And on the other side of the fence, which doesn't get as much sun, you install a few more rods. That way you could play around with the efficiency a bit more and do something to counteract the shading here. As I said, you saw it in the test. Not much should change here because partial shading hardly makes a big difference in this case. So that's it for this video for now. As I said, sources and of course the corresponding discount codes can be found below in the video description. Did my video help you in any way? Then of course I would ask you for a thumbs up. And do you want to watch more of my videos? No problem, just subscribe to my channel here, it's free. Goodbye, see you next time, your Mark on YouTube.